Hey guys, what's up? So, thought I'd try an experiment or a challenge. Um, I actually just got this in the mail. It's Artorial AR6200 uh, fuel treatment. And heard a lot of good stuff about this thing. And then here I have Diesel Clean. And this is actually what I've always been using in my truck for the last three, three and a half years. Uh, ever since I actually bought the truck, I've always used this. Um, in those three years, three and a half years, I've only had some minor stiction issue, which the Arch Oil, the uh, oil treatment additive, actually fixed. So I definitely uh, have a lot of confidence in the Arch Oil products because it definitely it fixed my injection stiction issue, like advertised. So um, my truck is a Power Stroke 6 liter um, with Hue injectors, uh, 2006. And uh, like I said, I've always used uh, diesel clean. So I guess for me the the challenge here is the uh, where it says dissolves sludge and stabilizes fuel. So um, I want to see basically what the, what this thing does in a, f a single bottle. How much actually sludge it removes from my engine. And for me, the sludge I'm worried about is the actual EGR sludge, uh, EGR valve, um, and it basically sending back up uh, carbon and soot back up into my intake manifold. And I'll take my EGR valve off and I'll show it to you before and after. So, yeah, I mean, that, I, the last time I took it off to uh, replace the EGR valve, I mean, it was cake with sludge. Like, I could see the sludge going all the way back into the intake. I mean, I'm sure the intake valves are caked up too. So, um, I'm hoping this will definitely clean it out a little bit. So, I mean, I know diesel clean doesn't do very much because I've been always running this. So, like, even before, like, my EGR valve, I, I did other videos when I, I was cleaning the EGR valve, and you could see how gummed up and kicked up that thing was. So, this thing definitely, this doesn't do very good at carbon cleanup, but I guess Bill Hewitt over at Power Stroke Help definitely, like, swears by this stuff, and, you know, he was saying, like, when the, they use this in the 6.7, you know, the new, new Power Stroke, that it, uh, the EGR coolers are basically almost virtually carbon-free, so... That's what I'm hoping for. Um, but okay, let me uh, come back and I'll show you. I'm gonna take my EGR valve off and I'll show you all this carbon that I have. Uh, I mean, it's a new part. It's new. The, e the EGR valve I have now in there is probably has maybe a couple thousand miles on it. So uh, my truck has about I think 185,000. So I'm gonna use this whole thing and I'll come back and I'll uh, show you the difference there. But let me go back to my engine. I'll show you the EGR valve and. Uh, so we can do some before and afters of the EGR valve and the intake. So, all right, be back. All right, guys. So um, this is my EGR valve. It's fairly new, a couple thousand miles on it. And uh, as you can see, it already has a lot of soot on it already. This is like pretty heavy. I'm gonna clean up these. Uh, look at that. So uh, I'm actually running a tune on my truck, a Hyperstech. Uh, I guess they call it their Stage Three tune, but. Also, to, uh, to note that I never use this truck for like, uh, I guess, stop and go driving or around the town driving. Like, I, I typically only use that truck when I'm going like long hauls because I purposely don't drive it short distances because I don't want this thing to coke up like this. Because uh, if the truck never gets to operating temperature and it can never burn this crap off. So, that's the challenge. I want to see if this is before and after. Is, it's cleaner, but let me show you my intake real quick. All right, I don't know if you guys can see that in here, but the light in there. I'm trying to get a good angle so you can see it, maybe. But uh, yeah, it's super coked up in the bottom of that thing. I can't even clean it out, you know. So um, yeah, look at all that just coke caked everywhere. So. I'm hoping that will get cleared up. We'll see. All right, so the only thing I want to clean up here is these, these connecting services that where the gasket is. But I'm not going to touch anything else because uh, I want a good, good, accurate reading there. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit more lube on these uh, gasket scanner and reuse it. So, all right. So um, they say that the double dose is thing, the first couple treatments. So uh, power boost. So first couple treatments, two milliliter per gallon. So. Um, so right now my, my current tank does actually have diesel clean in it, so in the next couple tanks I'm going to double dose it 
And this was uh, $25 on Amazon, and I'll put a link where you can get it, but I guess we'll see. So this will be a real test. So I'm going to try to get a good picture of this, so when I come back, we're going to see what's up. Alright. Cool guys, be back. Hopefully this works, that'd be cool.